Hi there, so today I'm going to go through a few different rugged devices to show you uh, the difference in rugged tablets, what's available on the market and the, the, the difference between them uh, and what to look for when you're looking for a rugged device. Uh, so there's quite a lot on the market as you'd expect um, and the main operating system is obviously uh, Android now, uh, so there's still a few Windows ones out there. Um, but Android seems to be the uh, the operating platform that seems to be winning the most business at the moment. So ranges of size start from uh, you know, seven inch, quite a small tablet. Uh, nothing too special about it. It's a bit updated, a bit bit outdated these days. Um, then we move on to something a little bit larger, like the, the 10 inch one. Uh, this 10 inch one runs uh, Windows 10 Pro, but there is also the option to take a um, Android version, which is Android 10. So different certificates to look out for is waterproofing and dust proofing, which uh, start from IP65 uh, up to IP68. So the six is for um, dust ingress. And then the second number, the five, six, seven, and eight, is for how waterproof it is. So you really want to be looking for uh, at least 65, which is splash proof, to uh, 68, which is completely submersible. So this first device here is a Windows 10 uh, tablet, which um, is running the Pro, and that is IP65. It's got quite a large battery in there, uh, which it needs it because it's a, a 10 inch screen, but uh, it's uh, got an eight and a half thousand milliamp battery. Uh, on the back of it, it's got a, a 13 megapixel camera, uh, again, in there if needed, uh, which most uh, people these days obviously take pictures. It's got NFC and all these handsets are 4G. Uh, there is an option to add a um, barcode scanner, which is normally a, a Honeywell 2D barcode scanner. Uh, but that's that's a you know a pretty standard handset. Uh, this has been very popular over the over the last few years for for ourselves, which is the uh, Defender Tab Two. So we've had this for uh, quite a while, uh, about four or five years. And we've sold thousands of these uh, all over all over the world. It's been a, a, a stock, a, a rugged device. Pretty solid handset, as you can see. It's it's again um, IP68. This one is so it's, it's a lot more waterproof, and they're all military grade, so they all achieve mil spec spec stand, which is a drop test. So the drop test is uh, the devices are dropped in a, a laboratory onto a hard surface. Uh, repeatedly 30 times at 1.2 meters and at the end of the test um, the devices have to be in full working order but uh, the, the devices themselves are all pretty much you know they, they they look like each other there's not much difference the difference being maybe the camera maybe the chipset um, and a few additional features so the next handset or tablet is the Defender 5. Uh, this is a very new handset and the difference between this, if you look at it, is, is the thickness. Uh, it's not much thicker than a normal tablet with a rugged case on it. Uh, the difference between buying a device with a rugged case on and uh, a, foot, a tablet that's built to be dropped is, is the mil spec standard. So this device is uh, you know built thinking that it is gonna be dropped. Uh, this device um, has just come to the market and it's running Android 10 at the moment, but there will be uh, an upgrade which won't be pushed through the air. It will only be available when you purchase it as um, uh, 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 as, an, uh, as a version of Android level 11. Uh, we don't like pushing upgrades through. And the reason being is a lot of our partners, software companies, people are running certain applications. And, and before when we've pushed up upgrades, we found out that um, uh, it might wipe some of the apps out, so we, we don't push up upgrades. Uh, this one's IP67, so again, very, very waterproof. It's got an SOS button there for Lone Worker. Um, one of the key features on here is the massive battery, so even though it's very thin, believe it or not, uh, this, got, this has got a, a 12,100 milliamp battery. Uh, it's also got a, a 13 megapixel camera. Uh, it's got NFC inside there, and you can have the option of adding a, a Honeywell barcode scanner, which puts about a hundred pounds on the price of the device. Uh, the next one is um, 
depending what country you are. There, there are different versions of this device. So a couple of companies have branded this hat device. Uh, for example, Sonim have, have got this out now as, as, as their first uh, rugged tablet. Running Android 10, uh, Qualcomm chipset, obviously it's 4G again. Uh, you have got the option for a barcode scanner on this one again. Uh, not not bad looking handset uh, at all, that one. The, the price difference between the Defender and this version, uh, I, I think uh, the Defender is about two, three hundred pounds cheaper than this handset, uh, but the spec is not much difference at all. Uh, one other device or one other thing to look out for when you're buying a tablet is uh, accessories or depending on what you're going to be using the device for. Um, so like, for example, this one here has got a fully ruggedized uh, in-car cab holder so you can fit it in there uh, and, and, and lock it away nice and safe. Uh, it has got a security option there so you can lock it away so it can't be taken. Uh, after sale support is another important thing with devices. You need to make sure that the supplier you're working with has got uh, full support, you know, just working from a bedroom somewhere and they're going to support your project. And there's different options depending on the manufacturer on, on what level of warranty you get from anything from one year up to up to up to uh, three years on some, which, of course, there is a charge for. Um, but so, yeah, that's a kind of a quick overview of of some of the rugged devices on the market um any information uh just give us a bell give us a call um, and we'll help you out